welcome back to another episode of This Square Room. My name is Jonel. I'm Des Wayne. I feel like I wish. Let me let me come a little closer to the mic. I feel like I I envy the the bass in your voice. I could I could probably actually adjust it. And put you a don't more why, bass. you don't need to. But like when I listen back to some of the episodes, I'm like, oh my god, I just sound so like meh, 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 in the back of you, <laughs> you yes, know. Yes. And then like your voice is so like. Yeah, but you also kind of ham it up a little bit on purpose. Nah, 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 nah. You know that's a lie. A hundred percent. Hold on, I'm looking. I'm looking for this tweet. Okay, it's funny that I say that. So Jane Lynch, the actress, you know who that is? Nope. Um, what she's been in a lot of shit. When I think of Jane Lynch, I think of Glee. She was the coach. Okay, there you go. Right. Yeah. So she tweeted. Um, I don't know, like a week or two ago. I don't know. She said, I love women. I am a woman. Our voices are higher than men's voices. Women's voices can get into the annoying area if it's too high. If you're doing a podcast, consider lowering your pitch a tad. Yikes. I, if you think I'm being sexist about this, then I don't know what to do with you. And like, I when I don't know. I was planning on sharing this tweet, but like the second I was like, oh, hello. And then I heard your voice. I'm like, oh, shit. Maybe maybe she's onto something. Your voice isn't annoying. I don't think I have an annoying voice necessarily, but I think I do envy a little bit of the bass that you have. Not that I want to sound like a man, but it's just like a commanding, like, I feel like bass is very soothing. Like, we mm-hmm. ever listen to music and like the vibrations just soothe you as opposed to a fucking high pitched screech? <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm not saying that's me, but like, you know. Yeah, yeah. So I do get that. But you know why women's voices are higher, right? Because your balls didn't drop yet. I mean, there's that. <laughs> it's also like, you know, because babies respond, they, they hear higher pitch better. So it's like genetically That's for child rearing, it's like better for the baby. It sucks when you don't even have children or want children. Right? You sound like I'm just stuck with a fucking squeaky ass helium yep. voice. <laughs> but yeah, it's so funny. That have you ever tried that helium balloon voice thing? I'm sure I did like a long time ago, but I don't really remember. But I'm like, I feel like I, I feel like that's something you would do. That's why I asked. But, like, no. I mean, I would, but I, I don't really have the opportunity. I'm not around, like, fucking helium balloons all the time. Okay. Because activists would come for me because, you know, helium is bad for... Th- no, the latex balloons, like, are bad for the environment. Yeah. Or is it the foil ones? Or is it just all of... I think everything is bad for... I'm going to go with all of them. <laughs> oh, I'm going to go with D, all of the above. <laughs> um, But, yeah. Um, Okay, speaking of all of the above. um, Actually, I don't know why I said that because that's not an option. Okay. <laughs> Fuck, Mary kill. <laughs> okay. So all of the above is not, is an, not option. an option. <laughs> um, so fuck Mary Kill. YouTube, Instagram, TikTok. Um, fucking hell. I would kill. I would definitely wait. YouTube, Instagram, TikTok. Mm-hmm. Why did my brain put Twitter in there? Um, no, and okay. certainly not Facebook. Facebook's already dead. So <laughs> YouTube. I would. I would fuck YouTube. Okay. Because. I used to watch porn on YouTube. YouTube never had porn. It had like softcore hidden porn. You just have to know what to search. This is way back when YouTube just kind of started. I remember when YouTube, like you could like upload like twerking. You remember the twerk Mm -hmm. team? Of course I do. (laughs) I remember like being like a fucking little kid and I'm like, oh my God, I wish my ass moved like that. (laughs) (laughs) That's funny. But um, yeah, I don't know something. Here's the thing. YouTube to me still doesn't have any rivals because mm-hmm. it's long form content mm-hmm. and that you don't get anywhere else in exactly. the same way. I mean, they're trying to do the fucking shorts thing. They need to just stop yeah. and they have like stories and whatever. But like as far as the long videos, like nothing competes with that. Mm-hmm. And sometimes you don't want to just be scrolling aimlessly. You want exactly. to sit and watch something, yep. especially if you like the creator, right? Like YouTube.com slash this square room. Although... If you're listening, we don't have videos. It's just audio. But, you know, I'm just saying, <laughs> follow the account. Like, stuff will be there soon. That's all I'm going to say. But, um, yeah, okay, so you'd fuck YouTube. Yeah, I'd fuck YouTube because mm-hmm. um, I don't use it for long times. Um, I want to say I would kill TikTok, but because I'm new to TikTok, I enjoy it right now. Okay. Well, I understand where people are like, nah, they've deleted it. They've been there, done that, and it's too addicting. And I get it. So because it's addicting, you want to kill it? I want to kill it because... But is is that what you're going to do? I don't know. 
<laughs> that's, what, that, that's why I'm stretching okay, this okay. out. Okay, we'll do our pros and cons. Pros yeah. and cons. All right, so Instagram. Um, mm-hmm. Instagram, I I like it because everything you can get on YouTube, on on Twitter, on TikTok, anywhere, it reaches Instagram. So if you don't have TikTok, you can still see TikTok videos because people are going to post it on Instagram. Yeah, fucking two months late. At least I saw it. I mean, fair. Okay, okay, okay. No. So I, I, w- I would probably marry Instagram, but not <gasps> for not for the purpose of seeing people. Here's the thing, right? Content wise, I like. Wait, so you said fuck YouTube, mm-hmm. marry Instagram, kill TikTok. Mm-hmm. Damn. Okay. I don't use YouTube as much as I used to, but I still, you know, like mm-hmm. the people I, I watch, I watch. Like when I see them upload a video, okay, boom, I'm going, right? So for that, I'm going to marry YouTube. Also, from a businesswoman perspective, the ad revenue on YouTube is better than anywhere else. It's better than TikTok, yeah. right? And, you know, better than Instagram. Because like you get more ad revenue from the website directly, like you, aside from like sponsors and shit, mm-hmm. right? So, I mean, as a spouse, YouTube is bringing in cash. <laughs> And also fulfilling my needs. No, you get what I'm saying? No, no, I get it. I get it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Here's where it gets tricky. Because Instagram, like, we were dating. We were fucking, like, it was all good. But, like, TikTok came in, and I'm like, mm. Mm, Something new. Here's the thing. It makes Instagram feel stale. Okay. But what I will say I like about Instagram over TikTok first, the content on TikTok is just better. It is. Like, as of right now. as of That's late. what it's supposed to be for. Mm-hmm. But... Like you said, you can, if you really didn't have TikTok, you could still see TikToks or the trends. Mm -hmm. I feel like the trends are more repetitive on Instagram, but like whatever. But I also like seeing pictures too. And that's where, and I prefer Instagram stories to TikTok TikTok, stories. I don't like, I don't know. I think I'm like watching a video and it's fucking someone's story. I I don't, yeah. Like, you know, oh my God, dead at Snapchat, not even being in. (laughs) Snapchat's a mistress that like you hit once. You're like, Uh, yeah. So that's why I'm on the fence because like Instagram kind of has my heart, but like she's not doing it the same like she used to, you know, mm-hmm. she kind of fell off. But like, I still did love she her. she fall off or did you just cheat? <gasps> I didn't cheat. I'm not a cheater. What? No, no, no. I don't know. <laughs> I didn't cheat. It was open. Listen, I'm married to YouTube. YouTube knows. Mm-hmm. Like it's a, it's a, you know, it's not an open marriage, but it's like we have an arrangement, you know, but I don't know. So I think, I think. I don't want to say like I like TikTok just kill better TikTok. though, just kill but it. I like it better. Just kill it. But Instagram, it's the pictures, and I mean I don't sit around watching too many people's stories, but I like that format better. Mm-hmm. And worst case scenario, you can get TikToks, some of them, some of the only the ones that like really blow up. But like and that's the ones you need. Here's the thing: the ones that are the funniest are not making it to Instagram because those are the like fucking dark humorous shit that mm-hmm. like people are gonna like want to cancel people over on Instagram. So it's like you can't. It's not the same. Damn, I don't know. Fine, I'll kill TikTok. There you go. Reluctantly. No, no, I didn't want to kill it either, but I understand what I got to do. Fuck yo, Instagram better not make me regret this. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. They probably don't even care. Mm, I know. See, see, now I want to kill it because like <laughs> TikTok care. Yo, when I'm scrolling at night and TikTok's like, you know what? You've been scrolling for a while and it's really late. I think you should go to bed. I'm like. Oh, does it say that? Yeah. Oh, you haven't been scrolling that long? <laughs> I can't. I know myself. Like, I'll get through a couple, and once I feel like I'm being sucked in, I'm like, Mm-mm. exit, 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 exit. Yeah, here's the thing. Oh, you know what? Yeah, I will have to kill TikTok, because as much as I do like it more, I'm more withdrawn from it, because I don't go on TikTok every day. Mm-hmm. But, like, when I am on it, I'm You're on there on longer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I'm not, it's not like, oh, my God, I haven't checked TikTok today. Like, yeah. I'm like, oh, you know, a couple times a week. Exactly. Like, oh, I'm bored. Okay, fine. I'll kill them. There you go. But like, I'll be crying at the funeral. Yeah, no, for sure, for sure. Like you didn't do it. Yeah. <laughs> How could they? I'll I'll get whoever did it. <laughs> yeah, that's that. <laughs> interesting. Okay, I'm surprised that you would um only fuck YouTube though. Mm-hmm. Um, I YouTube, don't... you get music, music videos. I know, but still... I don't watch music videos, which is fucking crazy. I. You know who watches music videos? Any? But like, here's the thing: for an artist, I really like the music videos. They're still good to see. I don't know. I don't watch music videos. I'm not going to watch a fucking music video on Instagram. No, for sure not. If, if they started doing that shit, I'd be like, no, absolutely not. 
I, I don't know. The things are on YouTube. I get it. I understand why people put it there and watch it. But, like, I'm not a YouTube person. Um, the most I did on YouTube recently was watch um, this UK therapy thing called Blue Therapy. I, I love it. Oh, I thought it was it. hilarious um, because people out there are fucked. Um, oh, we already knew that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, other than that, like, I'm not on YouTube for, like, a long time. I'll go listen to a couple instrumentals, send it to my cousin. That's about it. Or Vibes drop something new, you know, it notifies me, Vibes Cartel, new song. And I'm like, oh, let me listen. And oh, that's you like it. subscribe to his? Yeah. Sort of thing. yeah. I definitely have to. Yeah, no, I, I would for sure marry YouTube. Like YouTube's the goat for like just a, it's in a, it, to me, it's in a lane of its own. Like you see how we're like, oh, but like TikTok's this, but like Instagram's kind of the same. And, mm-hmm. you know, but I think like the long form content, like nowhere else is at that level. Yeah, yeah. So that's why I. Yeah. No, that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Okay. Um, what have you been up to? Oh, you told me something about traveling. And yes. I, ne- I need to hear this because you, know crazy? you never want to travel. <laughs> you hardly um, even want to travel from your bed to the fridge, let alone. <laughs> I told, I told, um, oh, this is weird. How do I say this? What, what do you say? Uh, my girlfriends. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, I told the two people that I'm seeing. With uh, don't say it. Don't say it. I will never say it again. Um, I told the two people that I still can't I'm in a that. throuple with. Okay, but um, so now you're just adding so many extra words. Yeah, I'd rather do that. Say, I, I told the, the people I'm seeing. Okay, because I can barely see, so that works. <laughs> um, I told the people. <laughs> I told the people. <laughs> he, ladies and gentlemen, he said it, not me. Um, I told them that I wanted to travel, and they had the same reaction you did. Well, yeah, because, like I said, I'm going to go fucking nowhere. Yeah. Now. If we're going to talk about Des Wayne's ideal, ideal, like, if you could... Dream vacation. No. Dream woman. Oh. What what, what kind of... Where, where do you think she's from? Oh, what yeah. I would... Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Like, knowing me and knowing what I like and stuff like that. Your dream woman. I can't, like, pinpoint, like, a country. But it's a country. It's, like, an African country, maybe a Caribbean country... Like somewhere where they are thick with three C's, you know. <laughs> um, but the thing is, I I think you like Caribbean culture. You like African culture too, but like you know, as a Caribbean man, I feel like. Mm-hmm. But like one of those type of places, no? You're not wrong. Yeah. So, she would definitely have to have some culture in her for sure. Oh yeah. And she would definitely have to be thick. Mm-hmm. Preferably Japanese. Japanese. Holy shit balls! Interesting. I would. Let's not get too deep into it, but yes, yes. <laughs> um, so I your dream vacation is in Japan. Is in Japan. Oh, I want to go to the Dragon Parade. Never heard um, of I saw a video on TikTok, and along the do you, you have long, it saved? No, I only have a picture. Oh. So I'm gonna show you a picture, right? Okay. And you see how it looks like a dragon? Oh shit! That's a, what a, is that a boat? That's individual boats, and people are fucking rowing. Oh shit! And like it looks like That's watching sick. it, watching it in video form. My heart was oh, those so. Oh, are individual boats. Yeah, and people are like, next side, next side, Damn. and like they're in such unison, and it looks so beautiful. Like it looks like an actual dragon yeah, swimming cool. through the water. Mm-hmm. And when I saw that, I'm like, I need to see this in real life. I go to Japan too. So not for that. I mean, that's cool though. Yeah. But like, I just think it's like. So cool. this obviously happens once a year. They're dragon what time parade. Of year? Um, I don't remember. <laughs> okay. Um, but I saw this video a month ago, so I'm gonna assume a month ago. Oh, you think it was like kind of recent? It, it was recent when I saw the video. Um, and I'm I'm slightly excited. I'm not saying that I'm gonna go next year. Do you eat Japanese food? No. <laughs> but I would if like if someone who knows me and I find them sexually attractive. If they were like, eat this, I would fucking eat it. But if it's just a friend that's like, no, try this. Suck my dick. Well, I mean, I'm not. Obviously, they have like fucking chicken over there. But like, <laughs> no, I, I'm just saying. No, like, you're like, not going to have <laughs> the, your two foods that you're used to. No, <laughs> I'm, I'm OK with like. Because like me, I don't even fuck with like the most basic sushi. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, me neither. Yeah. I think I've had like one sushi roll or whatever. 
um, like our camp friend. I had one once because of, fr- oh, he made you try it? Yeah. No, I tried one literally last year, but I didn't eat like the fish. It was a avocado fucking roll. Oh, I had a chicken one. No, it wasn't avocado. It was sweet potato. And I was like, it's shit. <laughs> God. <laughs> yeah. No, my son and his my eldest son and his mom. I feel like when you talk about your son, we still, I mean, I still, I, I'm a, speaking for everyone on the podcast, your other son can't even walk yet. We're assuming you're talking about the bigger one. You're right. <laughs> like, you're, you're I'm not gonna lie. just starting to. All of them love sushi, except for me. All of, all of your sons? No, like. All seven? I hate you. Why'd you say all? Because uh, I was saying Caden and his mom right, love sushi. But that's still both. So why are you saying all? Because King's mom also Right, loves but sushi. you didn't specify that. So if we're just listening to the words you're saying, I wasn't you're finished actually talking. not you just speaking wanted to grammatically me. correctly. Although that wasn't grammatically correctly either. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you said it and not me. At least I know when I'm wrong. But um, yeah, I would love to go to Japan. So if anybody's listening and have been to Japan, especially the the Dragon Parade, Korea po- too. I think you'd like Korea. You think so? Yeah. Why do you think that? First of all, Korea's super dope. Well, not not that one, the other one. Okay. <laughs> but also, um, i just like the culture is good. Like they're not like certain other Asian countries where like if you're black, you're like, oh my god, yeah. like you know what I mean. They you love dance. They have a huge dance. I know. And so does Japan. That's what yeah, makes yeah, me yeah. so happy. Yeah. No. Like I think those are the two. Well, not the only two Asian countries, but like they're they're pretty high up there for like big countries that I would really want to visit. But it's like for me, I'm just so picky. I'm like, oh. <laughs> even like certain places that I traveled already this summer. You're I'm like, like oh, I don't know if I can eat this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would definitely try like Japanese food before I go there, so I know what to kind of. You gotta have a little one two thing that you're comfortable eating, yeah, like a default yeah. thing, you know. Like you can speak a little Japanese, and when I say you can speak, I mean you can recite like uh, anime, anime yeah. lines, mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. But like, I feel like you you're so well versed in anime, you should be able to put string together a couple sentences. I feel like if I tried, I could. What was the name? What was the Japanese name we said we would give you? Um. Yamato. Was it that one? Yamato. Oh my yep. God. Yeah, and you just said one of our happy. one of our listeners, um, he he DM'd me and he, he called me that and it made me so happy. Shut up. I swear to God. I love this. Who is it so I can block you his know IP? Who it is. Oh my god. Yep. <laughs> is yep. it fucking Chesley? Yep. <laughs> why why don't entertain him, Chesley? Yep. It was great. I'm it pissed. made me so I'm, happy. It I'm made so me upset. So happy. I'm upset that it made you happy. I, I told my son to call me that, and he's like, "No." Yeah. I'm like, "Well, that's disrespectful." I hate you. Stop it. That's what like <laughs> if that's what I want to be called. You're not gonna call me that. That's rude. <laughs> You're so stupid. Okay, check your phone. I sent you something. Yes, uh, you did. I DM you something. I want you to just <sighs> react to it. Jesus. Because I, I was going to just like explain it to you, but I don't think I can do justice. I don't know. No, it's isn't it this one? Yeah, it is. It's not you, video. What are you playing? It's just a real pop Hey, up. copyright. Come on now. That wasn't me. That can't, wasn't me. I swear. can't be doing this shit. <laughs> um, okay. Get it together, Jess. Joe Toro. What's the freakiest thing you ever did in your life? Mm, I fucked the guy and his mom. What? <laughs> his stepmom? No, his like, like birth mother, and she sucked his dick like. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> listen, listen. Yeah. How was that? It was, it was great. Once he looked at her and told her, "Yo, come do what you do best," it was downhill from there. Wait, he told his mom, "Come do what you do best," and come do what you do best. She started sucking his dick, and then at one point they looked at me, and he was like, "Come suck this dick," and I was like, "Why well, oblige?" Sucked his dick too. Just sucked his dick too. We both sucked his dick. Together. Together. That is. They, family. I like that for you. I ain't gonna lie. That's, what's the freakiest that's thing you've ever That's it. That's it. Death. Death. All right. You see why I said I can't explain it. I need you to just hear yeah, it, and no, I needed no, the no. audience to hear this clip. Yeah. What um, the hell? So. I do. I. <laughs> okay, hold on. Before before you think, I need to give everyone a play by play because Des was watching the video, but I was watching Des. So he heard what was the freakiest thing, you know, whatever. So he starts smirking. It's Des, of course. 
the girl says she fucked a guy and his mom and he does kind of like the smirk went away but then like came back like he was confused he's like okay you can get down with it and when she was like no not his stepmom his actual mom does the smile went away again he was like hmm? i almost closed the video at that point and then you guys heard his reaction when she said no like you know she, she sucked his dick and he told her to come do what he does best or what she does best does Hurt his whole face. He went from like, oh, <laughs> okay, you got the bomb too, and then was just like, nah. <laughs> it was it was quite a roller coaster of emotions. It was very interesting to it watch was, your face. It was it was a roller coaster of emotions because those are pinpoint. Um, I was very excited when he said, "What's the freakiest thing you did?" Mm-hmm. And I looked at her and I'm like, okay, she looked like she did some freaky things. Mm-hmm. And then she said, "I fucked a guy and his mom." Now, first thought, ill. Second thought stepmom oh well, ah. no my thought when i heard it i'm like you fucked a guy and you fucked his mom like separately no i i figured it was the same time but like you know you so i i assumed stepmom so that's why my face dropped but it didn't completely it's drop. still gross to me stepmom but yeah okay fair because that's a fetish that's a whole yeah. Thing. yeah so now okay cool and then it was like yeah and she sucked his dick like his real mom that's when i was like oh fucking k like n- no no, now, now, reason being, obviously his mom has done this before. Well, if he looks, if I look at you, Des, and I say, come do what you, you do, do best, best, you've done it before. How plethora I know of you times, do? not once, no. not twice, you do this. A handful, a handful. This is fucking great, that's your mother. Hey, talk about a bedtime story. I want to throw up. <laughs> funny. I remember one time, like I'm, I'm not a South Park watcher, but there was like a movie, like a South Park movie. There, yeah. And it was like a, it was like, like a little song or something and it was like oh like did you ever wonder if your mom ever gave your dad a blowjob right before she kissed you goodnight yes I've heard it you remember? yes I <laughs> but, thought about it ever since then <laughs> but this is like she gave you a blowjob and then and kissed, then kissed you, good- you goodnight <laughs> yo can I tell you that mother deserves to be jailed jailed I don't care if they this both, is a grown man they both deserve to be I don't to care if it's jailed. a grown man Go. there has to be like a fucking statute of limitations like okay my son is in his 50s but I still suck this dick like Go to jail. At any age, you should never suck never, your son's dick. Never. At any age. Oh, God. I just have a bad taste in my mouth. <laughs> and I found it weird, like, that turned the girl on. Because she was like, oh, shit, okay. Well, she said it went downhill from there. And she's like, well. Downhill well, means it just got freakier than that. Well, I mean, clearly, she can just talk about it. Like, that's something that I would, first of all, I would never do. I could I could never yeah, do. Yeah, that can't be his mom. But I, I hope that it was a lie and it's not really his mom. For reason. I ever found myself in a situation like that. I am taking it. I'm taking it beyond the grave, you know? Past the afterlife, past the um what do you call it? Reincarnation. That shit is never I I won't even think if, about it. That's I, how locked down it's going to be. I can't even think about it. That is so disgusting. I would have sex with a girl and her mom. Together? Yeah. But it's not but as I bad But I would feel uncomfortable you. if the mom ate out her daughter that's what i'm saying that's where i would draw the line the woman like as far as this girl is concerned she had sex with a woman and she had sex with, with a the guy. guy yeah right but it's for those two yeah that is yeah. disgusting yeah. yeah yeah and the mom's probably going crazy on it too nobody can please my baby like exactly me. He needs a real Ugh. woman like his mommy. You know, they say like a lot of women when they feel like, oh, like nobody's good enough for my kid. And, and it's like, like they don't cross the line, but a lot of time it's like, okay, like what do you It's like, borderline. Low, low key, yeah, yeah. Right. But like she took that to another level. Yeah. That's past like when um, one of the rappers said that um, his mom taught him how to French kiss. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, who was that? We talked about it. Yeah. I can't remember. But yeah, I'm that glad was I like, don't remember. That was like with tongue. Yeah. 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 And he was just like. It's what not are a, you trying to exactly. imply? Like, uh, we're trying to imply that's nasty. Yeah. What, do you mean? <laughs> like, what do you mean? Like, what else would we try to imply? Like, yeah, this is like 10 notches above that. And that was crazy. That was wild. This is, to me, honestly, this is like 30 notches. Like, Des. Honestly, no, no, no. I'll say it's like 15 to 20 notches. Because the only thing that would make it worse is if there was penetration. I feel like there was, but she didn't say it. Honestly, I... Because there's no way your mom is just going to do that Stop. and then sit off to the side. I'm literally going to vomit. Like, why is she even there in the first place? <laughs> because she that's what she does best. Did you not hear? <laughs> that's, not not hear? <laughs> that's, that's not funny. That's not funny. You need to replay it? Did you not hear it? <laughs> you know, like, I literally have vomit in my throat. Like, I swear to you, I keep... I keep swallowing to try and get rid of the taste. But it's But like, it's in my throat. It's like, I got to come out. Like, it's... That's... Ew. Ew. Like in in any scenario, if if like money was on the table, no, 
No. 500 million. No. no. Remember remember we talked about... Well, you'd if, also fuck your cousin for like 100 bucks. You see so what I'm mean. saying? So that's... <laughs> <laughs> that's <laughs> or 1,000 or, so, or something. Or 10. That remember we said if my mom was in front of me and my dad was behind me, would I go forward or back? And I, I'm not going forward. You said you're going to throw that thing back. You I see, remember. Yeah. yeah. I'm not, no. No. <laughs> no, man. And no case should you fuck your mother. Yeah, but... Uh, yeah. Yeah. At no case should any sexual activity happen between you and your mother. No. Like never. Literally. If you're laying in the bed you, with your mom you and get you get to hard, the age for your fucking like when your parents doesn't have to like wash you anymore, yeah, like that's, that's it. it. That's and it. That's it. And that's not even sexual contact. That's, that's like yeah. parental contact. Unless something happens down there and mom needs to look, don't like. But no. th- again, that's not sexual yeah, contact. Exactly. Though. Like yeah. worst case scenario, if you could be in your twenties and like say you have like something going on you're close to your yeah. mom you can mom like i know this yeah is can you, you just take a look exactly or if you get injured and your mom needs to bathe you yeah even though you're an adult like that's yeah. not set yeah. like that's no that's fine that's life right if you're like, laying in bed with your mom what okay i'm gonna low-key expose you but <laughs> i'm not gonna say why <laughs> we were talking about hypotheticals earlier and des is like what would it look like if i just came out with no boxers and shorts and just slung my dick around like imagine doing that in front of your mother yeah that's crazy <laughs> Like mom, <laughs> guess who's back? <laughs> Not back, because that implies that you'd be there before. I can't. I hate you. Oh, God. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No. 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 <laughs> no. No. That literally left a bad taste in my mouth. I know. I'm sorry. Yeah. But like, I had to. I saw this, and I was like, I want you to know. I'm probably gonna go home, look at the full clip, Google the girl. Look at the girl. Because well, she looks thick. I'm not going to lie. Not, I think the girl's just a random. So no, I know. So that clip is from a podcast, but they do like street interviews. Yeah, like that's yeah. I've seen do. this guy before. Yeah, I don't think I have. But I need to clip. see if he like tagged her Linked in it or something. Because I need to see her. And then what? You're going to slide in the DMs? I need to see her. She's thick. I can't. I'm faithful. <laughs> so why do you need to see? What, what is there to see? I To be honest, I think you heard and saw what you needed to see already. No. Because I have questions. Des. What what other questions could you possibly have? Were you actually turned? Sorry, I'm just trying to see if, if they linked her. Go uh, ahead, keep. Talking. Imagine, imagine you. No, I don't think. That. Imagine you sleeping with a guy, and his mom. Well, imagine me sleeping with a guy, right? <laughs> 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 and like, how do you get turned on by that? Like, I like I said, I couldn't be turned on by a girl and her mom. Oh, doing they had stuff. her. They had her on. They had her like sit down. They have to. This is a story. This this is a street clip from six days ago, and they had her sit down three days ago. So there is more. You want to play it? I'm scared. Okay, hold on. Yeah, play it. No, I'm going to DM it to you, and then you play it. Yeah, yeah. I don't know know what this clip says. Like, that's actually insane. And again, it's just a clip. Like, But, like, you're right. So that means that there is a longer form thing. I'll give them. It's uh, the the Super Duper Humble Podcast. Super Duper. Oh, no, no, no. That's the person, super. It's the DSC podcast, Dirty Street Confessions podcast. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. I had a threesome with a guy and his mom, and that was like his birth mother. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So, is when you say threesome, everybody interacted with she each other. She was sucking dick. Oh, you oh, see? Oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. I wanna go. <laughs> Like, who's really the worst in the situation? Mother the son. Oh, that's it? That's a clip? I had a threesome mm-hmm. with a guy. And his um, mom, the mother's and worse. Was, like, They're both disgusting, mother. but 100%, the mother is 100%, 100%, 100%. worse. You 100%. fucking carried that in your 100%. womb. 100%. You took care of that for your his whole life. As, as yeah. a fucking grown no, man, you took no, him back in that womb? No. Uh, no. No. Nope. No. Nope. No. Nope. Not a blood clot. <laughs> nope. Did it? Let's just sit Nope. Nope. No. Because nope. no. No. Under no. 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 No, no, I a hundred percent agree. Mm-mm. Yes, I'm no, out. <laughs> I'm out. And in and out and in. <laughs> I'm sorry. And the the way the girl said it, which means the mom was going crazy. Like I she thought, said he, uh, she, she was, was sucking, sucking dick. dick. <laughs> now she's she was sucking dick. Not, not like that's she, sloppy she, toppy. That that's deep. That's throat. the shit I like. <laughs> like what? Yo, hit up the mom. That's not funny. That's the type that you That's like. disgusting. No, I didn't say that. After you slept with your son, I don't want you. <laughs> you filthy animal. Like, I know who was last yeah, deep in this fucking ew. throat. <laughs> ew. Your grandchildren are in there. Relax. Fact. <gasps> Fact. <laughs> Fact. 
So imagine how comfortable she is doing this in front of somebody. Imagine what they do by themselves. That was not... Th- that's fucking crazy. You fuck your mom all the time. Literally, when I say go fuck your mom, you go fuck your mom. Yo, someone probably, you know how like Jamaicans cuss you like, go <gasps> suck your mother. He's probably done like, do that. <laughs> he's probably like, okay. <laughs> mom. <sighs> I'm sweating. I'm sweating. What do you think the ethnicity of these They're people black. are? They're black. Here's the thing. I got that They're black. too. But like normally, okay, listen, black people don't come for us. But like, so this woman is black. Yeah. The guy, I just in I my see head, a dark skinned guy. Yes, and I see a fucking crusty, dusty looking old. No, mo- I don't not see old. that. The mother is not like a damn, but she's not like a fucking corpse either. I don't see that. What I, I see her like okay, she's milf. Bad? No, she's not a milf, but she's like okay. No, I'm you gonna can- go with milf. I'm gonna go with milf. Th- that I think she's a milf, and the only reason why the girl, the 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 bystander, not bystander. <laughs> The accomplice. <laughs> the only reason why she was okay with this is because they both look good in her eyes. Because if the mom was just... You know what? I actually think the mom probably looks better than the, the son. Than this girl. No, than, oh, the, than son. the son. Maybe. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Probably than the girl too, but I don't know. But then the son, like in terms of attractiveness... He's okay. Yeah. And she was probably like, oh, like you're good looking. Yeah, I still don't yeah. think she's like a damn head turner, but I think she's like, okay, like you're... Yeah. No, you're... I, need to, I need to see this mother because this is... No, outrageous. I don't think they're gonna. This I, is outrageous. Of course not. They can't. They can't. They can't. They would have to come off of social media. They would have way. to die. Des. Imagine <laughs> it's not just come off of social media. Because imagine your Yo, family now your seeing fucking that. Neighbors know the your dad. Family. You imagine see what I'm saying? Finding out. Des, your father. Your father and I, your, uh, we your can't baby talk mamas about would it. never. No, we no, can't no. Talk this about is it. a hypothetical child that you don't have. Because, because I would never if, put that on. If, if something happens. And somebody dies a certain way, they're gonna come back to this podcast and accuse me. I don't want to. No, I'm just say you. You have a hypothetical. Um, no son. No. This, this, this son's name is. No, his Cash. name is. Because you like the K sounds. Cash with a K, okay. <laughs> and Cash is like thirty, and you find out from a fucking podcast. Joe, I'm sweating. He had sex with your fucking. Or, or at least that she gave him head or whatever. It doesn't have to be an ex-wife. Ex-wife, ex-girlfriend. It could be a girl I had a one-night stand ex-fling. with and kept my baby. I don't care. It, does, it doesn't matter. Joe. <laughs> Can I tell you the only time I feel like it's appropriate to have sex with your mother or your son? <laughs> okay, hold on. I'm like, this sounds wild. Yeah, yeah, I'm staring at you right now. Like, where are you going with this, yeah? No, because... <laughs> you turned British on me. <laughs> No, because there have been cases where it's like they're set, like they're separated at birth, and then they meet, and they don't know that they're mother and son. No, then that's different. But that's what I'm saying. That's the only time. But you know what I'm talking about. They were in the news. Yeah, it's like yeah. my strange fucking. If you sex. don't know, you don't know. But the thing is, they found and out and they continued. And they continued. That's crazy. That's when it's because because they were like, oh, we just had this bond. I'm like, yeah, it's a genetic bond. Stupid. <laughs> it's fucking DNA. Those Covalent are- bonds, you idiot. <laughs> Weren't you paying attention in science, you dumbass? <laughs> Fucking yeah, no. So I, think- I'm literally sweating. Yeah, <laughs> like literally. I, I'm, 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 I'm so mad. That's <laughs> Joe. What's next? <laughs> what's next? I can't. I can't. No, I but, can't. Yeah. So, uh <laughs> no. Yeah, I think it's just best that we leave it at that. It's yeah. disgusting. We would never. Nobody should ever. Yeah. They should be jailed. Hundred percent. Yeah. No. Because, okay. Yeah. Oh my god. Could you imagine if this was a father and daughter? He would be in jail. You see what I'm saying? From well, this this Woody interview Allen, alone. Woody Allen married his fucking stepdaughter, but he raised her since she was like three, though. And they have they were like married and, and shit. And they legally got married. But here's the thing. They're like still around. Legally got married. No, but you... You're raised, not legally you fucking your someone. daughter. Well, the thing is, only because it's step, they could kind of make it legal. But no, he no, he adopted her. He adopted. It wasn't step. He adopted her. Can we <laughs> next, 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 next? I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys don't like. Des is literally having heart palpitations. <laughs> the man can't breathe. He I doesn't can't. know where to I'm look, so, what to do. I'm looking everywhere I'm at looking this point. Looking everywhere except for at me. It's like I can't. <laughs> like, listen, chill. I'm not your mom, bro. <laughs> Your mom's gonna call you later, like, hey, son. You're like, ah, don't call me that. <laughs> <laughs> it's Des Wayne to you. <laughs> We're like, 
don't Ugh. call me. <laughs> oh god, it is hot in here. I think Jesus. we just like laughed up. I'm so mad. The fucking I would, heat. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> well, the other thing I wanted to talk to you about was um. Do I need a warning? No, no, no. Okay. Like, <laughs> no, you you good. No, it was just I was listening to something the other day, and it was like it was probably on fucking Instagram. God, my 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 casual <laughs> my casual fuck. Um, wait, that's what it was, right? Fuck, yeah, 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 okay. yeah. Um, no, but it was someone, or maybe it was TikTok. I don't know, one of the two. But someone was like preaching about like, oh, sorry, my phone's vibrating. Um, like, ladies, you need to know your worth, and da 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 da. If people don't want to meet you here, like, you need to know your worth and walk away. And, Fact, right? Like it was it was like a one of those mm-hmm. preachy type of videos, right? And I saw a comment and it kind of got me thinking. And the comment was like, but what if their worth is lower than what they think their worth is? Mm-hmm. And I was like, Very yo, accurate. here's the thing. You should know your worth. But I think when people say, know your worth, girl, especially women, like, here's the thing. I think a lot of men know their what list. I'm not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, they accept it. Right. You're like, I'm a fucking slum dog. And like, that, it is. My mattress is. is still on the floor. I'm what a, I'm a about? fuck boy. I'm this. I'm that. Yeah. Like, I know. <laughs> um you know listen some men do think that their appearance like yeah honey we gotta knock you down a peg you fucking your mama like that's not top tier you know (laughs) sorry okay yeah no no wait what i didn't say that we moved on we moved on but like i think a lot of women we empower ourselves and one another as we should yes but i do think that we need to have realistic expectations people in general but like you know i gotta I gotta speak to the ladies because I think we're just, especially girls hyping up girls. Like, this was a woman making the video. Like, girl, like, you gotta know your worth and da-da-da-da. Like, no man is gonna treat you up here if you you accept this. Like, you're only gonna get what you accept. Mm-hmm. And, like, it's all very true. And a lot of women do settle for less because that's what we think we can get. So it's like, yeah, for sure, hold yourself at a higher standard. But like, yo, some of these bitches ain't shit. <laughs> <laughs> fact <laughs> so what happens if they're deciding oh my god i know my worth and you're like girl do you really because market value says that you're <laughs> I, I i i just checked amazon and, and ooh, <laughs> ooh, it's not looking too good i checked the competitive prices Yikes. and you're you know you're a little yeah. overvalued yeah. here yeah and it's not the case with everyone like i said i think most people do undervalue themselves but actually i think it's actually yeah most people do under most women, but some of them are like, girl. The thing is, when when you talk about is way too high, you need the to cut it. it. <laughs> when you talk about know your value, I I think that like a lot of people get that mixed up. Know your worth, right? Because now you have women like, okay, I'm I feel like I'm 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 up there. So if you want me, you need to have up there money. Because I'm not working. I'm not doing nothing. So you need to pay for all of this. Yeah. Technically, in my brain. You're a broke bitch. You are not valued at that. That's what you would like. If you got money on your own, but you want, you know, someone who's also up there who can That's what you're your valued at. Right. But if you don't have money and you're depending if on somebody else. all you bring else, to the table is Panani, Gucci. <laughs> barely. Pussy. <laughs> <laughs> you say barely. <laughs> No, and usually it is barely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, I'm not here for it. But but yeah. here's the thing: I'm not even talking like that is a good like point. But I wasn't even thinking like you're talking about regular deglers. I'm I'm thinking like women who are like literally just like bum bitches. Like you bring nothing to the table. Your personality is shit. You're not a good girlfriend. You're fact. dirty as fuck. Mm-hmm. Like you like yeah. When you go out, you dress up and you look nice. But when you go home, huh, where's that? <laughs> no, not even that. Like. You know, it's like you brush your teeth, but you don't brush your tongue. Like, you're just like, you're not you barely you brush your you teeth. are, you know? Like, or, or it's like... You or, bathe when you feel like. Yeah. Like, and then on top of it, like you said, it's the ones who are like, well, a guy should pay for... Pay for what? Pay for why? Pay for pay why? For a dentist visit? Why? <laughs> pay for you to have running water? She's the one with the mattress on the floor. Uh, and it's the air fucking mattress. It's the air mattress. And it's With a look of water deflated. inside. And it's not even a water bed. It says. Mm-hmm. Oh, I was about to say, it's an air mattress house. It's going to have water, but then you... <laughs> that's disgusting. All right. I don't, don't want to know. <laughs> All right. I don't want to know. I don't you see what I'm know. saying? <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. And then, like you said, then you add on the layer of, like, expectations of other people. Yeah. I want him to pay this, da, 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 da. But, like, where are you? Yeah. Yeah. 
I don't know. And again, not everyone, not most people, but those few, and they're always the loudest too. No comment. It's true. I don't even mean like loudest in volume, which they are sometimes, but yeah. it's just like they're the most vocal. Yeah. I need a Always man have an this. opinion. And yeah. yeah. And it's like, okay, girl, but like, what are you bringing to the table? You can't I ask am them the that. table. No, you're not. <laughs> you're a stool. You're the table? Bruck, bruck. <laughs> you're a step stool. <laughs> um, and it's not crazy, but like, like, okay. Oh my God. Women are going to hate me for saying that. Yeah, for sure. Holy With shit. guys. <laughs> but guys are like, yeah. <laughs> Finally, he should get set. <laughs> Oh my god, you know people call me a pick me? What is that? A pick me girl is someone who like says shit. So like guys are like, yeah, yeah. Like they're just like You a it's pick like, me? That's what I'm saying. But it's not like, a chance. When a girl says things just to get men to agree with her so she gets like okay, male yeah, attention. Yeah, yeah. That's like, oh like pick me, pick me yeah. like this. Oh, like girls are so th-. but like nah, bitches. Sometimes people gotta keep it real. A fact is and like a I fact. said, it's not most women. It's it no. really isn't. Most no. women actually devalue themselves and need to bring themselves up and need to hear those things. But the ones <laughs> Oh, God, I can't. It's just the few. It's the few that ruin it for the rest. It's crazy that we're talking about this. Mm -hmm. Can I tell you about my weekend? And I'm going to tell you my thoughts behind my weekend. Of course. Okay. I'd love to hear about it. All right. So, um, on this whole weekend, I spent with both lovely ladies, right? (laughs) Okay. The whole weekend. I think this is the first weekend we spent the whole entire weekend together. Okay. We're talking like Friday to Sunday or Saturday to Sunday? Friday to Sunday. Okay. Nice. Um, so, Friday... Um, had a shindig for um, my cousin's birthday. Um, okay. It was cool. It was nice. It was a great time, mm-hmm. right? Now. Happy birthday, cousin. <laughs> Happy belated. Happy belated, yeah. So with me, um, I think when you have a significant other, regardless of what event is going on, that they should be there to help support you, not just watch it. For example, Joe, if me and you are together and you're doing a fashion show, whatever you need help with backstage, I should be able to help you. Or at least be willing to, like, try. Yeah. Like, hey, you know, I seen some clothes on the floor. I'm going to pick them up. Hey, Joe, I seen these on the floor. Where do you want these? Okay, I'm going to put it over here. (laughs) But for me to just sit in the audience and just watch... Unless that's like, no, everything's good. I want you to be out there. I want you to see me walk the show or whatever. Like, you know, it depends. Yes. If there is things that you can help with, you should offer at the very least. Exactly. Yeah, for sure. I agree. Now, imagine the fashion show is over. You're in charge of setup and all that stuff. And takedown, obviously. Now, fashion show is over. I come give you a hug. Okay. See you at home. Hmm. Hmm. And especially a see you at home. Like, we living together and you going to leave me to clean up? So. Our- um, Friday, I, and, and I, I was very quiet on Friday because these things are running through my mind and I felt like I was being unfair to them. Okay. Because I can understand where somebody's like, this is not my event. This is your event with your people. But at the same time, I don't understand. Oh, right. So, oh, we're talking about cousin's birthday. Yes. Gotcha, so gotcha, I was gotcha. in charge. I was like, you had a fashion show? Pretty much the whole <laughs> I was in charge of pretty much the whole thing, you know, set up, making sure everything was okay, blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. Now, did I expect them to voluntarily do things no, and volunteer? No, not. I did not expect. However. Because Des never has expectations. Because that's how you get let down. Mm-hmm. And look, <laughs> where are we now? <laughs> so that was Friday, right? Mm-hmm. Um, We had a conversation about it Saturday morning. So Friday night, like, even like, because it was in the backyard. Okay. So... Things were all over the place. Mm-hmm. Food was on the table out there and stuff, but that food could have been brought in because for you the most food part, on the table? like not all night. No, like while the barbecue was going on. Oh, because I was like, but this is like raccoons in Toronto are crazy, <laughs> crazy. crazy. You, can't, you can't be leaving food out like that. We saw a raccoon try and steal the garbage bag. They will come while you were there. They're like, oh, we should. They were the party. like. On the other side of the fence, the trying little, to yeah, pause, hands. yeah. They're yeah. not even pause their hands. <laughs> fact, fact, <laughs> fact. They are hands. Um, pause. Yeah. So mm-hmm. even though they were like, I understand where they're like, okay, you know, we don't know what you want and what you don't want. Right. But I feel like, you know, it would have been nice. I get what you're saying because it could have been like, we don't know what you want. Like, hey, do you need me to do anything? Um, we're about to go to bed now. Do you want us to start? You know, I would personally, I would say no. The right, reason why because I would say, that's how you are, though. Ex- thank you but very the much. The offer is, is says a lot. Exactly. Says a lot. 
exactly. not like a peace out like a, like hey like or even sometimes just like okay i saw some garbage here so i'm just gonna take it in on my way i'll help you finish cleaning up in the morning but like i'm, I'm tired i can't i'm not here to clean but like me just take this in on the way no problem Anything else have you a good need? night babe boom done yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. I feel you. I feel you. So that was Friday. Um, it, it did kind of rub me the wrong way, but I was trying to be very understanding about it and where their brains would be and where they're coming from. Mm-hmm. Um, Saturday, all, all the stuff I cleaned up because um, cousin left to go with his friends to some party. Mm-hmm. And this is like three in the morning at this point. A mm-hmm. um, couple of my friends stayed until maybe four or something. Um, and then that was that. So cleaned up outside, brought everything inside, put them away. There's a lot of dishes. So I'm like, okay, I'll do it in the morning. Mm-hmm. Woke up at, went to sleep maybe around 4.30. Uh, woke up at, I want to say after 7, mm-hmm. maybe 8. Um, washed some of the dishes, put them in the dish drainer, let them dry, went about my day, continued cleaning, whatever. So we ended up having a conversation about it. Um, and then, you know, there was dishes and they, they helped clean up the dishes and pick up what little garbage was left outside and stuff like that, Mm -hmm. which, okay, thanks. Saturday was a two year old baby party. Okay. I mean, uh, my friend's birthday party, friend's babies. I know it's just the way you said it. A two year old baby party, (laughs) like a a two year old's birthday party. Yeah. Yeah. So we went there is together. Is two still a baby? I guess, right? Yeah. Two is like where you start being a toddler. Yes. Because they're terrible too. Yeah. But two is like, they can't like, they can talk, but like not properly. Like three is I think when they really like Two, talk they can talk. But like not, they still sound like babies. Yes, yes. Like yeah. three is like you sound more like a toddler. Yeah. 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 Um. So we go and this is the first time we are going to, I guess you can say, a social event with the three of us. Okay. Um, so it was like, okay, let's see how this goes. Mm-hmm. So it was, it was, it was pretty nice um, mm-hmm. in terms of, in terms of um, us. I hate when you get distracted. <laughs> I'm You're so, so sorry. Annoyed. I'm so You're sorry. So annoying. Um, in terms of like being in public and people being able to sit down. So we're sitting there, and you know, I'm talking to my friend's mom. Well, she's talking to us. Mm-hmm. And she's just asking about the relationship, and she's like, "Oh my god, like that's so good, like you know, like oh, like you told her, yeah, yeah, yeah." Oh. And as soon as I said it, everybody's head in the backyard turned, oh, and really? I started dying. <laughs> like when I say I was dying, I was dying because I'm like, "Yeah, not a big deal." Da, da, da. She's like, "Oh my god," da, 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 da. and I see people's face; they were just like, "How? What?" Why? What? Who? What? When? Where? Yeah, why? Yeah, how? Yeah. Cat, dog, big brown cow. Yeah. Um. But <laughs> yeah, it was it was pretty cool. Um. She was just mostly saying like you know like that's that's good for you guys to be able to get along so well and yeah. be able to do something like yeah, that. Not an easy dynamic. For yeah, sure. because a lot of people would have just did stuff behind people's back and nonsense and all that. Mm-hmm. Um. So like the party in itself was cool for the three of us to be there. Um. I yeah. didn't. Be- even though it was my friend like I wasn't like oh do you want this do you want this like everyone kind of got up when they got up got what they needed and you know do- I'm getting up do you want something like that was nice what was the the, the girl's reaction to like the information being um, put out there one of them one of them answered before I did oh yeah. okay nice. um, and the other one like she was fine with it until everyone turned their head yeah I feel like I, like, would, like, okay, I would kind of be chill, like, like yeah. Mind your business. Like I'm <laughs> we're talking to her, mind your business. Yeah. Um, but for the most part, they were just like, Yeah, like it's whatever, like that's what they expect. Um, Sunday was um my friend's baby shower. Okay. Um, they're expecting baby a, shower. Yes. First one was a was a would you call it a baby 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 party. Baby party. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so the baby shower, that was that was fine because those friends already kind of know. Mm-hmm. my dynamic mm-hmm. so it was just like it was cool like nobody batted an eye nobody asked any questions mm-hmm. um yeah um but overall i believe um successful weekend okay um i find it works better when i'm able to sit down with them and chill with them because mm-hmm. i think that's why friday was a mess because i was hosting yeah you were like too busy and then i wasn't too busy but yeah no when you say too like, when you're hosting you kind of have to be not on guard but like on your p's and q's like yeah. does someone need something does like you're still See, hanging out but you're but, still kind of you know yeah reach reach does 
There we go. Let there be light. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, even though you're hosting, right? Mm-hmm. I feel like your significant other is co-hosting slightly, even if they had nothing to do with it. Yo, let me tell you. Every fucking time that I've been at like an ex's like event, if oh, he- you're great with that. No, no, no. Like you're you're thinking about the one that like. Well, there's two actually that could, like. Well, yeah. But like I was hosting those for an ex. No, no, no. I'm talking about like just like I'm just here. I'm just a guest. But like you still because you feel obligated. Like okay, like you know, yeah. my, my my partner is. Doing I can't all this, see you let me. just sitting there doing nothing. I I don't know. Like <laughs> like I'm like I mean. Also, if you're like, oh, let me let me let me take the plate. Let me clear. You don't have to interact with people. So when I'm in a situation where I'm like uncomfortable, I'm like yeah. help extra helpful. Yeah. When I'm too comfortable, I'm like. I'll do it later. Like, you know, you're just like hanging out, having a good time. Yeah. But like, I still will help though. I'll still like, you know. Gotta yeah, I can. Me. Yeah, I can see you do that. I can't see you just sitting there like just minding my own business. Mm-hmm. I'm chilling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially towards the end of the night. Like, I might just be like a little like awkward. Like, oh, no, I'm fine. I'm good. No, yeah. You know, and then just like on my phone. But like. And then distract yourself with like helping. Yeah. yeah. But that's only when it's like new people or mostly new people. Because like, I hate when it's like. A party and i only know like one person or two people mm-hmm. because then it's like i don't want to f- even if it's my boyfriend around with even if it's my time. boyfriend i don't want to be up your ass the whole time yeah especially if you're hosting it of like course. you're gonna go around and like i'll you know meet people as well but like but then like the more i drink then i become like oh my god hey what you do this oh my god like let's do a shot together like yeah, you know yeah. so then i get more whatever but like when i'm not yeah at times i didn't know where they were nor did i care I, it's not that I didn't care where they were. I just know they're not nowhere dangerous. Yeah, or, yeah, yeah. You yeah. just weren't bothered. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So okay. and I, it's and just I the know, way you said it. <laughs> I know didn't one know, didn't care. felt more uncomfortable than the other mm-hmm. because we spoke about it. But like, for the most part, I was just like, okay. Yeah, fair. Like, whatever. Fair. Um. Yeah, so that was my weekend. So when you brought up the whole... um you know, women know your value and you're talking about, you know, doing things like you think you're here, but you're here. Okay. Well, that's not, no, 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 no. That wasn't value. That was me <laughs> saying like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, Don't get me wrong. Went, done, went down because you didn't offer to pick no, up the No, not at all. Not at all. Not at all. That's crazy. That would be insane. I know. That would be insane. That would be insane. You do have some insane tendencies. No, I do. And I have to stay quiet because of it. Here's the thing. I do is I think everyone has it in them. And if you don't, something is wrong with you. Like if you never think of like a, like if you never have like a jealous thought or a like something small just bothers a, you. Or like when you're angry, you know, it's like, you know, when people get so like, for instance, all the time you're like, oh, my God, Joe, I was listening to our last week's episode because <laughs> I was getting a clip for it. And you're like, oh, my God, I'm going to punch you in the face. <laughs> <laughs> right. But. <laughs> I don't like that you laugh so hard. <laughs> but like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, obviously, you're not, I don't feel threatened. You're not yeah, threatening I'm not going to actually punch you in the face. But like, that's how I feel. People say things. They're like, oh, like, you're upsetting me. Or like, even if it's a jokingly upset. Yeah. But like, people say things. But when people are just like, always, I don't know. It's just like, like, loosen up a little bit. Yeah, like, like chill. when you're too buttoned up, I feel uncomfortable around yeah, you. Because it's like, sure. that to me is serial killer tendencies. Oh, for sure. No, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's like, what are you hiding? That like, you, you have a lot like, going on in your head that you can't say out loud Like, oh for my God, I'm going to kill him. Like, don't say that. Why? Like, I'm not, it's not a fucking death threat. Yeah, I'm not relax. actually going to kill him. Like, yeah. <laughs> you know who I am? Like, relax. There's a difference between like, Des, I'm going to fucking kill you. Or like, Des, I'm going to fucking kill you. Like, there's a difference. <laughs> yeah, you know I feel I mean? like you would say both of them. <laughs> I mean. The second one is like, if I'm about to say something that you know I need true, to shut my true, mouth. True, true. Des, I will fucking <laughs> But no, still, yeah. with the context, though, you don't yeah, take it as yeah. an actual death threat. You take it as a, like, I'm going to cuss you out after. Yeah. <laughs> or, yeah, like, yeah. I'm going to do something I'm petty never talking in retaliation. To you again. Yeah. Right. You don't, you're not actually, like, 911. With a like, knife in her hand. <laughs> yeah. Like, even if I had a knife, I don't think, which, no, I, I you would never take, take it. You would laugh in my face. I would and die. Like, Try. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, but, like, when people are just so, like, I don't know. Because <clears throat> I know people who are, like, nice. And sweet and even like God fearing people, but you can still joke with them. Like, come on. When you're so buttoned up that like, I don't know. I feel like it's too calculating. Calculated uh-huh. people are killers. All of them. All of them. Mm-hmm. Every last one. Every last one. Yep. Well, I sh- well let me Is rephrase. It- people are only calculated. Not normal people who do calculated things. The other day I was sitting in the garage with my cousin and a friend, mm-hmm. um, a female friend. And we're in the garage talking. Well, I wasn't talking. And... She was like, why are you smiling? 
And <laughs> I was like, oh, I just think of random scenarios that could ever happen in life. And I figure out the best scenario to one of them. And when I get it, I'm just like, okay, now I know what to do if this ever happens. Oh, no. See, I I was like, oh, like me too, Des. Because like sometimes you just think of stuff and like it makes you smile or makes you laugh. And then like you realize that like, oh, other people can see me. I thought that's what you were going to no. say. But then you took it to a level that is not serial killer-ish, but it's like... um. You know, you might want to get, like, assessed. Like you you know? I just, I don't like surprises. And I don't want when things happen that Social I don't know maybe? what to do. So I think of every scenario when they come up in my brain. And I figure out all the outcomes and how I would do it. You have sociopathic um I think so, too. I do as well. But, like, we do for different reasons. I feel like I'm very, like, if you, <laughs> you could hear my inner monologue sometimes. You'd be like, <laughs> yo. <laughs> But, but like, with you, like, when, you know, like, sociopaths don't actually have, like, emotion. Like, they just, like, mimic it. Yeah. And, but, like, they love, or maybe that's narcissism. Maybe that's a little bit of both. But, like, they love the attention. And that's the part that you, Mm -hmm. I think, like, you could be like, I hate all these people, but I love that they love me. Mm -hmm. Like, that's you. 100%. And that's sociopaths as well. Yeah. (laughs) Like. Friday, I had a great time Friday night. Like, most of them were my people. If not, they were my cousin's people. Regardless, like, that was my kind of setting. Mm -hmm. And I was over it. But I loved that. They were all like, oh, Des, Des, let's go here. And I'm like, nah. That's why. Because I know you're like that. I mean, sometimes, you know, I think sometimes you got to give credit where credit is due. So, you know, I will give you your compliments. But I don't, you know, I don't like it. Mm -hmm. I do it, like, literally, like, pulling teeth. Yes, they know. And I... And fuck you. And that's why, like, I think deep down, I think I said it off the podcast too earlier. I was like, I hate when people. Yeah, yeah, you did. Because like, (laughs) like you guys think this is just our dynamic on the podcast. It's not. I'm like, listen, Des may be all of these things, but he doesn't. He's someone who does not need to hear it. You know, some people like for the sake of their ego, like it is good to hear these things. Mm. And I do think it is even for you. But like, it's a once in a blue moon type of thing. Like people don't need to be hearing all like you sorry don't need to be hearing all these things all the time like when you were talking about um you were telling like a story about like a threesome that you had like a few weeks ago a couple months whatever i don't know time is kind of all over the place for me how great it was but no but you were like oh like the girl was like oh this was so good and oh my god it did it and i was like okay i get it was good but like girl please don't (laughs) don't Don't let him know (laughs) no like just make it that was good thanks (laughs) good job pal (laughs) (laughs) That would piss me off and make me go even crazier. Oh, I was going to do what I would do because I would be like, good job. Handshake. Oh, fist bump. <laughs> fist bump. Co- COVID. <laughs> I don't want to fist bump. No elbows. Hard. Elbows. <laughs> yeah. But I'm like, oh my God. Someone like you. But like, I know people who you'd have to be like, wow, that was good. Like, I loved what yeah, you did because yeah. they need to hear it because they're yeah. in their head. You, I you don't need to hear it. I know it's Honestly, good. you could have been benefited from being knocked down a peg to humble Probably. yourself. I'm not going to lie. Probably. <laughs> Because I and I don't think that would have affected your performance because you're the type who's like, hmm, she told me it was good, but she didn't go crazy. Now I'm gonna like step it up to get mm-hmm. that. Re- like so, and it, when I get it, and then when you get it, mind you who you're still, talking you to, you still want to step up uh-huh. because you. So no matter what, so that's what I'm like. Please, uh-huh. we don't need him going the extra mile and the ego, the uh-huh. ego, y'all. <laughs> and here's the thing, like. It may be someone who has, like, it may be someone that does his dating, maybe, like, a friend, and maybe one of you guys listening to the podcast. You don't understand. Me, I have to deal with the ego. Yep. You guys you guys get the, oh, <laughs> and I get, the, <laughs> I get the fucking the ego. The full detail. <laughs> <laughs> I get the fucking smug Des walking, walking into my place. First of, all, if, first of all, if Des comes here and the door is locked, why is the door locked? You know I'm coming. The door needs to be open when uh-huh. I come. Get out of here. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Today I opened the door and he, um, I'm like, what are you doing? He's like in the corner because there's a, like a mirror outside my door. He's like, oh, it's just, I was looking in the mirror. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> I was. I wanted to see if there's anything on my face and there wasn't, but I'm like, mm. You, but you didn't glance. You were I was like, staring. I think I was you were like staring. lost in a fucking trance. I was looking in my eyes. eyes. Yeah. I, know, I knew you were. I was staring I in my see eyes. I but I knew you were. Yep. That's what I mean. yep. He doesn't, he, he doesn't yep. need it, guys. He doesn't yep. need it. <laughs> I was. <laughs> he doesn't need I, it. I feel like staring into my eyes is like, mm. Please, I get mm. it. You guys love Tez. You want to tell him how much you love him. Cool. <laughs> but if you even care about me in the slightest, please. <laughs> I'm begging you. I'm, I'm begging you. <laughs> I would get on my knees, but y'all know I don't do that shit. <laughs> uh, that's funny. 
Oh, God. But now is a great time to get into a listener question, don't you think, Mr. Yes, Desi D? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so if you... Actually, you try it today, the little... I can't. Des. I can't. We believe. No. No, 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 no. See, I can't. See, this, this is we where I'm just, like, ha, 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 knock you down a peg. You we, can't Yeah, do we it. were just talking about my ego. <laughs> now I'm nervous. I can't. This, this is where I thrive. I'm like, yes. <laughs> this is where I get, like, my energy. I'm like, hey, Des, you fucking suck. Anyway. <laughs> If you have a question, a story, um, something you want to share with us, basically, if you want to be a part of the podcast, we love hearing from listeners. I keep wanting to say viewers, but... No, listeners for now. Yeah, listeners. But I think they'll always be listeners, because at the end of the day, a podcast, even if it's like video format, you still... Like, you can like walk away, yeah, look away, yeah, do yeah. other things. You're Fair still enough. listening primarily, you yeah. know? Um, but yes. Oh, sorry. Side note. Also, listeners, um, most of you are on, what is it? Apple podcast. Yes. Y'all need to start rating and reviewing the show. I'm looking at the numbers of the, of the listens versus the reviews. And, I'm and like, it's not, something's not adding up the here. The math isn't mathing. And I'm like, <laughs> I hate you even so Spotify, much. I think Spotify is the second biggest. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, yo, what, what is going it's on not here? Up here? I'm like, we got like, clicks. like two two local stars and and or two people who rated us. You can't say two local stars. <laughs> no, like two people who gave us a local star rating. But y'all y'all got to do better. If you like this podcast, we would really really appreciate it. It would help us a lot if you would rate and review and also share. But like the ratings and reviews really do help to boost us and it keeps us going. If you guys want it to keep going, then come on. This, this is where ego does is like. Step mm-hmm. in. This is where egotistical Mm-mm. Desney. Mm-mm. Are you still shy? Oh, I am. Oh. I am. Oh. <laughs> Loser. <Yeah>. Um, <laughs> but yes, okay. Like I was saying, if you have a question, a story, whatever it is, go to thissquareroom.com. Um, there is a button there that says Ask Us. You can write us an uh, email. It could be completely anonymous. You can tell us your name. You can tell us your age. Des loves to hear ages. I don't know why. I do. I mean, sometimes it's like relevant when yeah. they say certain things, but sometimes I think Des is just trying to be like, "Can I slide in the DMs or not?" <laughs> no, I'm faithful. <laughs> well, before because <clears throat> you you we said the age thing from way before. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> did it? You coughing? You're like, in case anyone is listening. <clears throat> nah, you said this from a long time. Yeah. Um, but no, sometimes it is like, hmm, this person sounds like they could be older, but like, and it's the advice I like we give to. I think the advice does matter sometimes based off of your age yeah. because different age groups react to different exactly, and like you got to handle different situations yeah. differently. It's it doesn't always matter, but sometimes yeah, it's just nice to know who we're talking to, you know. But anyways, uh, yeah, you can be anonymous if you want, but we want to hear from you. So this room dot com or our link tree, uh, you know, link in all of our bios for everything. So let me pull this up here okay um this first one (laughs) actually is quite funny um i don't know if this is actually a question oh no it is a question um it's an anonymous person they said i was just thinking to myself right (laughs) first of all you should say hi first you know this is actually the first person that never said hi i just want to throw that out really yeah everybody always starts with hey this person never said hi i don't like that i don't like that so this person's automatically rudy go ahead stop (laughs) and i love how like rudy could be like a guy or yeah exactly um i was just i i was laughing at the fact that they're like they I feel like it's like a British person. I was just thinking. To myself, right? Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) I was just thinking to myself, right? You both have very different personalities. So how wild would it be in real life if you guys were the complete opposite? I think Joe is very sweet and wholesome, but is open to talking about sex and has a little bit of a potty mouth. So she could low-key be playing the innocent ting. (laughs) Yeah, definitely a UK person. (laughs) It's definitely. And Des talks a big game and shares some unbelievable stories. And I'm just saying, most men who talk a big game like that are just putting on. I a promise you, Rudy, you better exit stage left. Yeah. I'm gonna lose it. Oh God, you see the evil uh, back. Uh, <laughs> he, feels, he feels challenged now. I do, I back. do. I'm not gonna lie to you. He said, he, "Hold on." He, oh, we, I don't know if it's a he. I don't know, but Rudy's coming off like a man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> But uh, this person says, I don't think you guys are, but I had a nice laugh to myself thinking about how wild it would be if you were. So I guess it wasn't a question. They were just saying a little one. This is <laughs> I'm so mad. Why? He said I could low-key be a hoe. No, I understand. I understand. <laughs> I understand. I understand what he's saying. Why? But this is about me right now. 
(laughs) (laughs) Yeah, isn't it always? I'm so mad. I hate because I've always hated when people. But some oh you've gotten this before like yo are you are you capping yeah, or are you yeah exactly mm. so this this has been the story of my life mm. even with like girls I've slept with in the past it like it starts off like whatever my friend said X Y Z but I don't believe her because da, 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 da. now I feel like <laughs> I have to prove it to you so Rudy Rudy what do you, what do you want you want a sex tape you want me to make a sex tape because I will. <laughs> I will make. This is like, let me pull up the archives. I do. I do have them, but I will make one specifically for you to understand. Look in the camera, like Rudy. (laughs) Rudy, this is for you. (laughs) Oh my god. Oh god, I'm so mad. (laughs) Anyways, continue, Joe, because I can't. Um, I don't feel like I play innocent though. Like I feel like I talk about things that I know. Yeah. And I ask questions about things I don't know. In in real life, this is Joe. And in real life, this is Des. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, <laughs> it, it, I see what you're saying, but it would be funny, like, if we were it, opposite. It, it would off, be wild. That Can you imagine crazy. if, like, you had my personality? And, and I'm all sex, shy like, off, ca- off and air. And then I had oh, yours. God. Yeah. If I was I'm just, so like, sorry. running through these streets. I, was, I would be so sorry for you. Why? Because it's not healthy. What's the opposite of a gal is? Isn't, don't say man is. <laughs> oh, a man eater. A ma- Des. <laughs> what? <laughs> Whore. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. It, it kind of is. Like, uh, yeah, yeah. But no, here's the thing. Look, I just don't sweat have, on my nose now. I don't. Rudy. I don't have the. <laughs> you gotta work up. I don't have the energy. I don't have the. I don't have the energy to deal with men. I don't have the energy to deal with People. other human beings. Yeah, there you go. That's the one. Oh God. What's just the thought of it, huh? I'm trying though. I'm trying That's to get better. Good. That's I good. think you know. One step at a time. I, I think you're. I think you're fine. To be honest, um, like, I don't think I'm not like in the complete. You know what it is? Just I don't have like the level of. Well, I mean, first of all, you guys have to really take it with a huge grain of salt because you're comparing me to Des. Like anyone's first of gonna. All, I don't like that. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, explain. Yeah, yeah. Come on. <laughs> Listen. First, you're like, what do you mean, Rudy? And I'm like, wait a minute. Wait. <laughs> Compare me to Des. <laughs> no, what I'm trying to say is, compared to Des. Most people, especially most women, are going to... Well, I shouldn't say that, actually. I take it back. I take it back. But compared to Des, someone like me is going to seem like an extra new. Oh, for sure. Like, you know what I mean? When yeah. it's compared. But I think, like, even things I haven't done in real life, like, I know about, I'm open to talk mm-hmm. about it. So maybe that's why people think, like, oh, maybe she's, like, low-key, like, whatever. Yeah, yeah, she's lying. But, like, hello, have you heard this? the context of this podcast? The shit I have learned from when we started this in 2019... The way my mind is now is so much more fucked up. Yeah. No, I don't <laughs> like, believe that. I have been corrupted. Yep. Whereas you, oh my God, you actually came out of your corruption a little and bit. toned it down. Look, we, so we are kind of like a little bit like no. each other in, but not in sex, in like life and relationships. Okay, in, inter enough. Interpersonal relationships. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a little more like, oh shit, try not to be a dumb bitch, trying to like, you know? Yeah. And you're more like, oh my God, like I'm playing a good guy. I'm faithful. Yeah, black chill. men don't cheat. Yeah. Like, you know? Yeah. Which, that part's a lie. But you know. The, part? The, the, the black men don't cheat part. Why is that a lie? <laughs> Let's not. Because men already hate me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, no. I think... I think the men with me, it's up and down. Sometimes when I'm on their side, they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I say shit like that. And I'm like, fuck this bitch. Yeah. yeah. And then the that women, they're like, it. yeah, yeah, yeah. And then like, oh, no, she's a pick me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds about right. It's just very up and down with me. It's okay, guys. I rock with y'all. You don't have to rock with me. It's okay. Um, nah, Rudy, I get what you're saying. But second of all, I'd appreciate if you start with hi, hello, you know, something. <laughs> Jesus. And where are you from? We're predicting. Okay. I'm predicting mid-20s UK. I'm predicting mid- London surrounding area i'm gonna say early 20s under 24 really i'm thinking like 25 i'm thinking 24 to 26 like mid okay under 25 um uk first option second option definitely toronto because nobody else does ting like that true 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 but wait there's something else that this person said no, I th- I'm thinking UK because it's like I was thinking to myself, yeah, I was thinking to myself, right? Like who? Like we don't talk like that here. But then again, I don't talk to people, so <laughs> I don't know. No, <laughs> that wasn't a joke. Don't laugh. Sorry. I'm saying I don't know how people talk anymore because I can't. Yeah. I can't interact. Makes sense. I have my two friends, and that's it. That's all I need. And this person types the way they think because 
Right. You don't type right. Can I tell you, though? I like that. I like reading certain things. And it sounds very natural. Yeah. Yeah. But some people, some people, when they type the way they think, it's a mess. Or, like, the way they speak. Because, mm. like, it's, like, you know, people don't speak as proper. So, it depends. Like, this person did it the right way. Because sometimes you got to be No, like, they did it wrong. Because they did not no, say hello. But they didn't think that's not how they speak. Which is rude. <laughs> <laughs> Which is naturally rude. Okay, well, that's why you call them Rudy. Exactly. <laughs> Okay, we have another one. This is also from Anonymous, um, but it, they wrote their pronouns. It's a him, he, him. He says, what's, hey, God. Oh, mm-hmm. what's up, guys? Mm-hmm. <laughs> See what I'm saying, Rudy? Take notes. Oh, I should have just like left that part out just so, just so Rudy <laughs> like didn't feel any type of way. Um, but yeah, this person says, what's up, guys? I'm curious to know if each of you are smokers or drinkers. Like, what do you primarily like to do? Just curious because each of you remind me of each of one of my friends. Joe reminds me of the smoker friend and Des reminds me of my drinker friend. Love the pod. Keep it up. That's funny. I feel like, one, you're new. Why? Because we've spoken so many times. You've been like, uh, you know, we smoked and we did it. Yeah. Uh, and like, if you've listened to me, you've never heard me say I smoked. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Fact. I literally was just talking about me at a party and like drinking and loosening up. Yeah. Like, <laughs> so if that didn't answer your question, I'm the, I only, I don't smoke at all. Des does both. But what would you say you I, primarily do? Um, It depends on like. The occasion. Yeah. Um, I don't like to feel like I'm smoking too much. Okay. Um, so like even with my friends, like we could be chilling for hours or at a party for hours and I'll probably only smoke at the beginning and that's it. Mm. Um, but I'll drink. You like, like to smoke towards the beginning? At the parties? Yeah. Yeah. Like I smoke in the beginning because I don't like anything to interrupt my partying. So I don't want to be like, yo, let's go outside and smoke. Fair. I know people who can actually... Like, the last couple times I've been out with my friends who smoke, it's kind of like, sometimes it's been like, oh, like, we have, like, one drink, and they're like, oh, you want to step outside and smoke? Yeah, I can't do that. But that's just, like, one, that's not, like, you're partying yet. You're, like, can't warming up. But then I've thought about it, and I know some people, I, my friends love to, um, like, if we're going out to, well, not all the time, but if we're going out to dinner and then maybe, like, to a bar or something after, they love to smoke right before we oh, eat. Oh, for sure. Because I guess it yeah. opens up your appetite, you yeah. eat more. Whatever. So, I mean, that I get. But I've also had people, like, as the night goes on, hey, you want to go outside again? But, like, I think for the most part, it's, like, beginning to middle from, mm-hmm. like, my people. For my people, it's whenever you feel like it, go. <laughs> I mean, I mean, true. But, like, is there, like, a time that it's more frequent? For me or for my people? Both. No. My no? people go whenever. Like, they are potheads. <laughs> and I say it with no hesitation. <laughs> so, so... Out of you, my friends, you, are, you prefer at like in a party setting. You prefer the beginning. Yeah, but I'm someone who like I I can I'll drink anything. Um, I it takes me a while to get drunk drunk. So mm-hmm. so that's why you like shit that's strong. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but if my friends would probably say like, yeah, Des is more of a drinker than a smoker. Personally, I don't think I'm either. I think I can do whatever whenever. But yeah. I would say that you're more of a smoker only because it's easier to take like a couple recreational tokes and then just like chill. Mm-hmm. I know like sometimes you like to do it right before you go to bed, especially after like you've worked like a long yeah, shift. Because I'm about to masturbate. Okay, well whatever. But like you're not like mm, let me let me make myself a cocktail and go like fucking what do you call it? Choke the chicken. No, <laughs> but I will take like like my bottle of like Ray and Nephew or something, mm-hmm. and I'll just take like two the- quick shots or something. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm. Well, okay. Well, before this conversation, I would have said you're probably more of a smoker, but like not in like a you're getting fucking stoned out of your mind all the time. No. <clears throat> your birthday last year. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> but like just like a, I feel like it's more frequent in terms of recreation, but then I don't know yeah. your life. So. You know Havana, Havana Club? Is that what it's called? Mm-hmm. Um, I had, somebody brought me two bottles of that and both of that, both of those were finished within like a week. Two? Yeah. By yourself or you shared? Uh, Kind of shared, but mostly myself. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Shit. Well, I don't know. I hope that answers your question. Anonymous, do you want to give the person I hope your friend is cool, by the way. What friend? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because I'm pretty cool. So How do you... I can see why you would like feel like the, the drinking friend. But, like, I feel like... I don't know. It, with my group of friends? No, like to this person. Like... 
just like the guy who's like, I don't know, like the party, like, hey, da, da, da. like you're always yeah, laughing. Yeah, you're like on the yeah. podcast. You're like out there. So I see why he would feel that. I'm yeah. Like, and maybe because you sound so chill sometimes. That you're like, yeah, she's hot. Maybe it's the fact that I'm fucking thinking about it right now. It's just like, yeah, I fucking pothead. <laughs> 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 but yeah, thanks. That's, that's interesting. Very interesting take. But no, where it's, it's definitely the opposite for me. And it's kind of like half true for you. Yeah, guys. yeah. Um, but yes, again, we love to hear from you guys. So it's thisgrowroom.com for any questions or stories. Sorry, that is my dog shaking. We shake, should really shake, shake. take off his collar when we... Which is crazy, right? This. Never thought about that. <laughs> you don't think about it till it's too late. Um, okay. Des Wayne, you had mentioned something earlier. I'm very curious. Okay. Um, all you said to me... Was that you want to talk about something, and the key words that you said was in love with friends, fiance. Spill okay. the tea, Kingsley. It's not a time to cry. We want to hear the tea. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's not necessarily tea, right? Um, I forget what I was watching. Well, it's like a question. Yeah, yeah. There's... That's tea. That whole si- that that little tidbit that you gave me, or tidbit, tidbit, is is tea to me. You know how you have a you have a good friend, and. Your good friend brings their significant other around, mm-hmm. and you're around Stop them it. for a while. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you can be around somebody and slightly have some kind of romantic feeling for them without knowing it's romantic. Oh, uh, sh- okay, 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 okay. So, um. because you haven't put in a position for those feelings to arise. Right, you like that person. Yeah, but they're your friend significant other so that's all you know it as right but you're just like yo i rock with this person they're very yeah, really cool like yeah. you're chill i vibe with them now when but it's not romantic in your head no it's just like a vibe exactly yeah one day you get put in a position where it's just you two not that it hasn't done that it hasn't been that before it's mm-hmm. just you two but something happens and now you know sometimes you you're get like like oh, a warm feeling what, what yeah well exactly Exactly. Yeah, okay. Now you're questioning mm-hmm. things, but now your friend is engaged to that person. What do you do? Nothing. Nothing. You don't say nothing. You don't do nothing. For a little tingle in feeling, please. Get me out of there. If I tried to pursue everyone who made me feel warm and fuzzy once, I would be what that guy thought I am. But <laughs> see, but this is your friend who now you're going to see this person damn near the rest of your friendship oh no no you don't like you just compartmentalize you put that away you never feel it again false no false i okay i hear what you're saying but i disagree okay let me speak for myself yeah if i entertain it and i Mm -hmm. allow myself to think then you're like oh my god like what could it be and then the feelings thing but if you're like i felt one thing once this person's cool as hell i'm like in this is how i rationalize it to myself right i'm like oh my god like i'm probably just like I because you know me I meet people a lot and I'm like oh my Mm. god they're so cool like they have such a cool personality guy girl it's different with guys though because they always assume you want to fuck them and like that's but like there's been guys that I've met and I'm like oh my god like he's so cool and like it's just like a friendship thing Mm. but I'm trying to put myself in the position if they were you know or mm, I guess yeah like if they were like dating a friend of mine or engaged a friend of mine and I was like oh like they made me feel warm and fuzzy you have to understand your your body chemistry, your body's a fucking liar, okay? That's why people go for toxic people. Just okay. because you feel like somewhat of a connection, it doesn't need to be a romantic connection. Just because they made you feel warm and fuzzy doesn't mean that they're your soulmate. Doesn't mean that you need to pursue it. So you're just like, okay, it is what it is. Maybe that was like a little something, but that's me doing that to myself. Stop it. Shut it down. If I need, to, If it's that serious, first of all, if it's that serious that you need to like distance yourself or it's going to affect the friendship, then you've been having those feelings. But you didn't know. No. Let me tell you something. <laughs> Romantic feelings are different than friendship feelings. No. I could love you as a friend like mm-hmm. to the moon and people could think that we're in a relationship and like I would have never even thought it versus mm-hmm. I may have the hu- biggest crush on you and like you may never even know. Like it doesn't. I, I think it, they're different. No, I know they're different. But to me, like, for example, if that was me. And my friend is getting married to this girl and blah, blah, blah. And then one day I'm kind of like, or, you know, I find myself thinking about her and I shouldn't be. I'm having a conversation with both of them at the same time. Why? For one little feeling? Do you know why? Because later on in life, I don't know what might happen. 
I don't know if that one little feeling will lead to a disaster five, ten years down the line. What? How so? How five, ten years down the line? How could five, ten years down the line? Um, Mm -hmm. I'm getting out the shower or some something. Me and her in the same space for God knows whatever reason. We're drunk. Why would you be getting out? We're drunk together. I'm just throwing ideas out there. Person Anything. who's been married for ten years. In what scenario? I just say we're both getting out the shower. I said I'm getting out the shower. Okay, and then where is she? Why is she in this scenario when you're in the shower? That's Joe. what I'm saying. It doesn't make Joe, sense. It does. No, it does. You're you're painting scenarios throwing, that wouldn't realistically happen. Th- oh, well, happy for you. If I get out the shower and my shower is not attached to my room, and my friend's girlfriend wife is chilling in his room, the door's open. And I'm walking to the room. She just saw me get out the shower. Yes or no? Okay, you're saying that like, okay. so I'm not saying she's directly sitting in the bathroom. No, no, no. I'm asking you how you be in that situation. So you and this person, like you're living with them is what you're saying. Yeah. Regardless if I'm living with them, I could be at his house sleeping over, took a shower, whatever the case is. And you're walking out butt ass naked out from the shower. That's on you. Why? Why the fuck would you do that? Put a towel do, around. Do not yourself. hear what I just said. Have some common. Do you know what I hear? What I said. You said the the bathroom that is one not- thought from years ago that I've been so suppressing. You're, so you're purposely slanging your dick so you around hear what I'm saying. House. That's what I'm saying. No, that's stupid. So that's on you. Control yourself. I hear what you're saying. You so need better because, self-control. Because I if you don't can't know. control yourself and your because actions, because I that's don't not, know. That's not for anyone else to be because blamed for, Because I sweetheart. don't know No, you don't. what you will do happen know. down the line. I'm a person now that I want to know everything. I need to know. You're out of your if mind. You, no, if You're you out like, of your mind. if you like somebody that I like, as my friend, you need to tell me. Here's the thing. This is what this is where you have gone wrong. Well, one of the, the many places, but we'll touch on each one. You are creating scenarios that are completely based off of your actions. That's if what I do. If you're a human being. No, because sometimes you, we create scenarios. Like, no, I told you. I sit and I think of no, every situation. No, but we're like, what if the other party does this? What if the other party does that? But, I can't control what they do. But, exactly. But the scenarios that you're giving are shit that you put yourself in. You're like, what if yes. I come out naked and show my dick to this woman who I had a feeling about 10 years ago? I don't ago? bring my, my clothes in the shower with me. You can bring your, your clothes in the bathroom. I don't if, do that. If you are a guest at someone's home, Psh. y'all don't invite Des around unless Psh. you want to see some dick, you know? <laughs> bring a towel. <laughs> So what you just you're just dripping through people's homes, no towel. It doesn't make sense. Even if you don't wear the fucking towel around your waist, you're not gonna towel off and dry. You can't hold it over your fucking crotch you can ask like any- a fucking loincloth. I didn't say I'm coming like, out butt naked like Tarzan. Listen, listen. You are creating scenarios mm-hmm. that you are putting yourself in. Mm-hmm. Meaning that you are not showing any sort of restraint, self-control. So that's on you. Mm -hmm. That is not the normal situation. Because me, mm -hmm. if you have a feeling, I I could feel like I wanted to strangle you right now. Do you need to let me know that? And I'm... I'm not going to be like, maybe five years down the road, I'll snap and really put my hands around his neck. Like, but no. these are things but you need you, to know. No, but you know yourself. No. Do I know that I'm really Joe, not going to strangle Joe, you? See, no, okay, because this right is where now, I, disagree. I really feel like I this could. This is where I disagree. Right because now, I really feel like I could. When you're dating somebody, no. there's one day he could feel like, oh, I'm going to really slap the shit out of this girl. He's never hit you before. But five years down the line, that same feeling he felt that first time is going to keep growing until he finally boxes you down. Here's the thing. And it came out of nowhere Here's, to you. But what I'm saying is you need to know yourself. Mm-hmm. If I know myself and I have a feeling, I'm going to act accordingly. I'm going to distance myself. I'm going to lean into it, do whatever I need to do, mm-hmm. what, depending on what's appropriate for the situation. Mm-hmm. So I don't need to worry about how I'm going to react five years or ten See, years down the But that's what you're saying. Because I know myself. You're going to suppress whatever you thought you it's, felt. It's not even about suppressing long term. If you need to... If, if it's that hard for you to control your emotions or if it's that strong, you maybe need to distance and suppress. I don't think you can suppress something for years, but in my head, why do, who, who goes? Who, but remember, the who question was goes after in love someone, or you like your friend's fiance. It's not you have a slight crush. I would never. I could never. Exactly. That's what you said. You could never. But given the question, the question I'm saying. The question was, could I? No, I could not. So because now. I have self control. Now I'm, I'm a saying. I'm a grown ass woman who has control about my now emotions. Now I'm and saying. Even more so, I have control mm-hmm. over my actions. Sometimes I get it. I get it. We can't help how we feel. Can't help who we love. Okay. But we can help how we act and what we act on. And if you're saying that, I don't know what I'm going to do, that's you. That's fucked up. Dude. No. Yes, no, it is. No. Okay. Joe. That's fucked up. 
that's what I'm saying. If you're saying that you don't know how. What I'm saying is, act, if I like you, if I like you, you, if I like you, if what? you are dating my friend, and I feel like I have some kind of feeling towards you, in my eyes, that is a conversation between you and my friend that I need to share with you guys because that's not okay for you to like your friend's significant other and not say nothing. Are you saying this is like? Like, oh, I have feelings that could be a crush that could grow into something. Or at this point, you're full blown in love. This is like, I don't know what this is. However, you don't I know, know what it is. So you want to yes, potentially yes, blow up someone yes. else's relationship for something. Why would that, that blow up their relationship? Is? I said be- potentially. But why would that potentially break up their relationship because of how I feel? Because some people. It's don't- not what you did. It's no, how course. I feel. Of course. I'd but- rather tell you no, both no, how no, I feel no. and have my friend be like, Des, honestly. This is, I get that. I feel you, but it's potentially an issue because some people may be like, what did you do to lead him on to make him feel this way? Why does he feel this way? Are you around him too much? Are you flirting too much? Are you wearing too, too many prov- provocative outfits? Are you dancing in a way in front of him so he can see you dancing up yes, in front of my friends? Are you like... <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> yes, you are. Stop. No, seriously. You're not you know wrong. I, mean? I it, see it what you're saying. Put, I'm, I'm not saying it's automatically grounds for a mm-hmm. fight, but we don't know how the... Uh, right, you can't help how other people mm-hmm. react. So you're saying you're going to potentially put someone what else's I would relationship do? Yes. in danger yes. Yes. for your own selfish feelings that you don't know what this is. Listen, yes. if you feel like this is my soulmate, I've never been in love this way, then fucking say something. Do it, whatever. Blow up your friendship, blow up, whatever. Right? If you got to do it, you got to do it. But for a feeling? Yes. For a, I don't know? Yes. For a maybe? Go yes. fucking watch Pornhub yes. and jack off because yes. you'll be fine no, in the No, because when you watch Pornhub and jack off, you are jacking off to the thought of your friend's girl. No, you're jacking if you no. use your imagination. Yo, if you're jacking yo, off to no. fucking porn, I no. watching the porn stars who watches the porn stars you think know. that's what men masturbate to yeah. we're picturing the girl in real life that we want to fuck and we're picturing her as her and me as him oh really i didn't know that you think we're watching this shit if you ask me porn stars name i don't fucking know that's a lie i don't know you know a couple names i like if i hear it yes but if you're like des name porn stars i'd say pinky i'd say Cherokee if that's her name i don't know names but did you not just say names so that's the best you got? Make That's it, the best you got. Make it make the sense. Two, the two porn stars from back when I was 12. But what I'm saying is, you're like, I could never name a name. Names two. That's the best you got? The yes. two? Joe, my yes. point is... Get yourself together. We don't watch together, porn boo-boo. for the porn messy. stars. It's a little messy. You no. guys will watch porn and be like, his I'm name is t- Adam I'm Silver. I'm talking about the porn shit. Yeah, because I'm sorry that we like depth in people. Yeah, no, that's not what we porn like is for. Depth. fucking pussy, okay? Porn is not for depth. <laughs> Some of it is. No, like it's that, not. Like that romantic, like it's not for that. Shit, like no, that 50 it's, of it's, um, it's the build up. Like that's the point that I like to watch the build up. I don't really care about the sex that's happening. I want to see the guy fall off the skateboard kind of shit. You want to see the pizza man step in and awkwardly stand yeah. at the door while she ruffle, rifles for change. And yeah. Like, I don't have money. yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I'm not picturing, I'm not seeing her. I'm seeing the girl that I probably okay. want to have sex with. Okay, fine. That part is fair. Yeah. So I re- re- recant my statement about go masturbate and you'll be good. No. You but won't be. no, I take that back. Mm-hmm. But everything else stands. I, no, I, stand, I understand I stand what back. you're saying and I understand what you feel. I'm just letting you know. I like, understand what you feel. Too, I would prefer. But it's I would not prefer my friend tell me. Displaying any self control. I, I didn't ask for self control. I asked for honesty. No, no, here's the thing. I didn't say what I would rather my friend do to me. No, you I said, said what, what you would, would rather, do. and I said what I would do too. Because that's what I would if want I done had to me. One little butterfly. That I need fluttered. to know that. One I little to, butterfly. I one fuck, moment. I need to know that. Des. I need to know that. I get butterflies when someone pronounces my name correctly. Are you crazy? I need to know that. You think, you think I'm gonna be like, personally? Be I, as a friend, I need to know that. No. You're te- you're saying no, and I hear no. you, but I need to know that. No, you don't. I do. I do. If I was secretly in love with you, would you want me to tell you? Yes. The fuck. I have something to say. You hate me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course I would want to know that. Damn, you're supposed to take me seriously. No, I wouldn't. Why? I wouldn't take you seriously. Why? What, what if I actually meant it? Because you don't. <laughs> Why? That would be ridiculous. We're giving this scenario That'd and now ridiculous. you're laughing it off. What, 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 what if the friend was like, this? <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. You can laugh it off all you want. <laughs> but you can't say that I did not tell you. I mean, that part, fair. So that's the only reason why I'm looking at it that way. Because if you have feelings for my significant other, regardless of how small you believe it is, I would like to know. Okay. The same way, mm-hmm. Go ahead. If, if me and you are dating and my friends never met you, the mm-hmm. first thing my friends are going to do is judge you sexually. They're going to, because the first thing you do is see somebody and you're like, mm, damn, Des, good for you. Here's the thing. 
I think, I mean, this is me personally, and I, I know it is a lot of people, but I can look at someone and be like, this person is attractive, but I'm not attracted to them. So I'm you're not right. judging someone sexually. I'm just like, oh, like, you're pretty, you're handsome, you're cute, you have beautiful eyes, you have da -da -da, beautiful teeth, you know, I love teeth, but it's not like... It's not a sexual it's not, attraction. It's not a sexual attraction that you act upon. No, it's not sexual. What do you mean? Because there's people, like, there's fucking women that I'm not sexually attracted to. I'm like, yo, this woman is gorgeous. It's not a sexual thing. That sounds very sexual. Gorgeous? Yes. That sounds sexual. I'm not like, oh, she's sexy as fuck. I'm like, yo, you're beautiful. You're gorgeous. That's well, sexual. But, like, I'm telling you it's not sexual. No, but I hear what you're saying. It's not something you would act upon. No. But the word you're using is a sexual if word. I was, if I was like, oh, my God, like, you're so beautiful. Would you? And she, and she was like, thank you. And she kind of like, mm. I'd be like, <laughs> no, you're you're pretty, but, like, over there. Like, it's not It's nothing you would act on. Because it's not a sexual attraction. If I was sexually attracted, I'd be like, hey. No, because there's people you could be sexually attracted to, but you wouldn't be like, let me jump your bone. No, but I'm saying if that... Right, if I'm saying same scenario, mm -hmm. and we're talking about two, two women, okay? Mm -hmm. If I there's a woman, I'm like, oh, like you're you're beautiful, like you look so nice tonight, and she was like, thank you, and she kind of like came on to me, and I'm like, no, I'm not sexually attracted, but like, thank you, like mm, you know, bye. <laughs> Versus another one who I'm like, oh, like you're gorgeous, and she's just like, oh, thank you, like you know, you want to get a drink? I'd be like, mm -hmm, yeah, like it's different. I disagree. Okay, one you're acting on, and one you're not. That's all. Because but one they're I'm both sexually sexual. They're both sexual. No, it's not. I hear you. I'm you're, not. I'm not saying you're no, wrong. I'm saying I don't. Shit is not so black and white. You're just like it's either this or this, and that's not. That's not. Okay. 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 Let me ask you. Let me mm -hmm. ask you. So you have you have one butterfly, maybe two, fluttered mm -hmm. once. You're like, oh shit, gotta 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 tell my fucking best friend since I was three that I'm in love with his fiance. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you sit them both down and you tell them how one. How would you tell them? Two. What would okay no go from that and I'll I'll, I'll ask you more hypotheticals um, go ahead I'd be like honestly something happened a couple of weeks ago it was nothing crazy she but smiled at me my heart melted pretty much that if that's what's the case if that's what was if that's what it was I'd Bruh. be like yeah we were in the kitchen you know I was cooking she came in so let it melt and blah 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 and you know this is you know she didn't do anything this is what happened and you know since that day she's kind of been on my mind in a way that I don't want her to and I. Like, I'm not comfortable thinking it. And you as my friend, I need you to know, like, this is, you know, it's nothing like that. But this is what's going on in my head. So you're saying you would say it in a, I don't like that I had this feeling. Yes. I want to back off. I don't want to have these feelings type of way. Yes. You're not like a, this is what it is. Yeah, like, I'm oh, not, it's all good. Not uh, like a, like a. Like, you're not trying to be disrespectful, but it's like, yo, shorty, if you no, want to slide, you No, no, no. It's just that I need you to know. And what do you think, truthfully, not how would Des Wayne react, mm -hmm. how would you think the average person would react to that, your friend? My my friend? If it's my friend? Like, a friend of mine or an average person? Because my friends aren't average people. They're weird. Okay, so let's let's do both. How do you think the average man would I react? I think the to average person would person? be upset and X, Y, Z and tell me to go fuck myself, which is fine. I get that. And you're saying your friends would be like, I get it. They would just be like, okay, you know, thanks for telling me. And that's it. Hmm. But it's like, what's the, I get the whole like transparency, honesty with someone who you're very close with. I do get that. But for a butterfly. Now imagine, okay. A butterfly. Imagine a butterfly and you've been thinking of this person. Just imagine that. And now you go tell one of your friends, you oh. know, like just slightly you just mention it and now this person hears it from somebody else it seems like something it's not i do agree with that but that's again your own action for so if saying you something go, in general if you want to go run your mouth and see i, tell I other disagree people, from you, again that is your own reaction or your own action so if you want to i feel like from you have a thought like that's that's something you need to talk about and i feel like people don't talk about things every 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 negative thought that i've had I would not be on this fucking planet. I would be like hung or what is it? The electric chair? No, the, they put like the, I, I'd, I'd be killed in jail is what I'm trying to say. Okay. I don't fucking know. Or it'd be burned Death at penalty. the stake. They think I'm a fuck. Yeah. No, seriously. Every, every thought. No, I hear what you're saying. Thought, but if it has to do with my, my friend and his fiance. Yes. 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 I do think that I, there is going to like, there could potentially come a point where you do need to be open and honest with your friend. If the situation goes there, but like not for a butterfly, because I do think people often misinterpret. You know, me people, 
I've been like, oh, I thought they were the one. And it's like, no, what I mistook as like butterflies. And first of all, if you're feeling butterflies for someone, that's usually not a good thing. When someone's right, you don't feel butterflies. <laughs> Let's just put it out there. So the fact that I'm feeling butterflies for your significant other means that they're not right for me. So by all means, you guys go do your thing. But it's like one thing that you learn when you date and like, I, I, I remember hearing it and I'm like oh that's so bullshit like I've had my experiences but no seriously like every year of my life that goes by I'm like oh shit like I am learning more and I'm starting to realize that like just because you have feelings for someone doesn't mean that they're real doesn't mean that they're right doesn't mean that it's good doesn't mean you need to act on it and like when you have that maturity you ha- like you can control yourself because you're like no they're cool they're maybe even attractive but and maybe even I'm attracted to them but I'm not gonna act on it why because they're not good for me because they're my friend's person da, da, da. and then like the feelings just go away you're not wrong I just said it needs to be a conversation that's it but like that's what I'm saying unless you're like I cannot shake these nope. feelings of course be honest but I'm not gonna first of all never had a butterfly for a friend's anybody girlfriend boyfriend fiance mm-hmm. but like if I did I wouldn't you wouldn't say anything a butterfly i hear you no. i hear you I if would. i had feelings i do agree there is a certain point but like nah you i think i think you're doing the most i'd be like this she looked at you and you blushed That's great it? i'm glad i'm glad we had this conversation great listen boom I, no no no. now we're moving you're on you're trying to be a good friend but i think that is very much so like home wrecking or or, or could potentially be because if of they the, want it to the be. repercussions if they want like, it to be no some people are like why why would this person get the impression if you're just like, I'm attracted to the person, like they can't be mad at that. But if you're like, oh, like they said something in my heart and or they looked at me, it's like, what type of looks, what type of words, what's going on? What are you doing that's making Des Wayne feel this way? You know what I mean? And it could no, be a I bigger thing. And I would never that's nice want of you. to. Yeah. That's nice of you. We already know. I'm trying. I'm really trying not to be a homewrecker. So I. <laughs> you guys know this. You guys know this. You see why I'm taking my stance? I am like, no, nope, absolutely not. I'm not saying shit. I'm saying that. Interesting. Ladies and gentlemen, we want to know what you would do. Yes. Yes. I would like to. Yes. Yes. What if would you guys you do? you had, if your friend's fiance or long-term boyfriend, girlfriend gave you butterflies one time, would you hold it in or would you say something to the friend? Let us know. I guess we're doing a poll. Yeah, we'll do a poll. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. On that note... That's going to bring us to the end of our episode. No, it's not. We're going to do a question of the day. There you go. Yeah. I was going to wait for you to finish your sentence. You always say I interrupt you. Interesting. Oh, boy. What question are you trying to answer most in your life right now? Okay. Um, mm, should I? I... Don't cry, Bubba. Should I take more videos and pictures to post them online? <laughs> Is that really the, the question? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. we were talking about the music and stuff, and I was just saying how like I'm not a social media person to hold a camera in front of my face and be like, "Hey guys, it's me again." <laughs> like I, I, like I feel. But if someone else is holding the camera, you'll. Hey, you'll what's in. going on? Boo, 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 boo. Yeah. Oh, don't do that. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. So if somebody else is doing it, fine. But like, obviously, the way the world works now, to promote yourself more, you gotta do these things. And I'm so uncomfortable. I feel like we're the only podcasters who don't promote our shit. I feel like we are. <laughs> I feel like we are too. That's why you guys got to rate and fucking. I give see us stars people's and... stuff and I'm like, oh, oh is that what I'm supposed to do? <laughs> well, that's how it's done. That makes sense. It's crazy that you say that because even when you were actually starting to do um, the listener question, mm-hmm. I had taken out my phone to kind of just record it as like a quick clip. As soon as I took up my phone and I went to video, I was like, this feels so uncomfortable. And I put the phone back down. Oh, my God. You were trying to, like, secretly record me? You heard me. But I didn't. Is that something I should have told you or keep a secret? Piss off. <laughs> That's something you should have told me. Because you've done it to me before. And <laughs> you've done it twice. At three strikes and you're fucking out. I'm calling the cops. You secretly record me all the fucking time. Oh, I don't want to so end funny. up in Des Wayne's archive, okay? <laughs> In the damn vault. Uh. <laughs> um, mine is, what exactly do I need to do to realistically achieve my goals? I have goals and I have a plan, but sometimes you need to understand that you got to roll with the punches and your plan needs to be adjusted along the way. 
I think sometimes if you just stick to your guns and stick to the plan, mm -hmm. it, you may not end up where you're, you know, wanting to be. And then you're like, why isn't it working? Oh, my God. Like, I had my plan. But you got to be able to adjust and roll with the punches. Yeah. So right now I'm learning to roll with the punches and adjust and pivot. And like, I'm still on track. But like the track that I originally thought I was going to be on didn't go the way I thought. So it's like, OK, what can I do to like keep this momentum going type of thing to achieve my goal? So that's a, that's a question I'm trying to answer right now. OK. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> two two very different answers but i mean should i upload video <laughs> <laughs> how can i achieve my dreams all right that's that's very me and you that's why very, very. that's why they think i smoke weed yeah <laughs> but okay um thank you guys for listening um you can find us on social media twitter instagram at this square room um of course Kingsley. Okay, my dog is over. <laughs> he says thisquareroom.com. Thank you for listening. We will see you next Tuesday.